Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem remove duplicates from sorted list. So we did solve a very similar problem to this one where instead of removing the duplicates from a sorted list, we were doing it with a sorted array. And in this case, when they say list, they actually mean a linked list. And this does uh, slightly change the dynamics of this problem. Our implementation will be different because in this case we do have a linked list. So of course removing values from a linked list is usually done with pointers, right? So if we wanted to remove this node, we would just have to take uh, this link here, you know, cross it out and instead have it point over here. And that effectively removes this node from the list, even though it technically does exist here. Uh, but practically speaking, uh, I don't think in this problem they actually want us to delete the nodes, but maybe that could be a requirement in a real interview. It would probably depend on what language you're using. We're not going to really pay attention to that. But yeah, so each value in this list, there may or may not be duplicates for each value. In this case, two does not have any duplicates. Only one node with the value two shows up, but there are two nodes with the value one. So of course, one of them has to be removed. We could remove this one or this one. I guess it doesn't really matter, but when we do return the list with the, du the duplicates removed, we want to make sure that the list is still sorted. So it probably makes sense to maintain the existing order of elements as we remove elements, right? If we remove this one, the remaining elements should still stay in the same order. And then after we're done, we can just return the head of the linked list. So suppose we're given this example linked list, we wanna remove the duplicates from it and then return the new list. Uh, one thing I want to mention before we start is I usually have a dummy node in linked list problems. And if you also use dummy nodes in linked list problems, you might be wondering, do we need a dummy node in this problem or not? And the answer is no. And the main reason it's not really necessary is because the head of the linked list in this case is never going to change. Why exactly is that? Well, because the list is sorted, right? So the duplicates are going to be right next to each other. So in this case, we have a one at the beginning of the linked list. If there's more ones in the linked list, they'll come right after it, right? So the best way that I'm going to handle this is never removing the head if there are duplicates, I'm going to remove the duplicates that come after the original, right? So this one will never be deleted. We'll delete the extra ones that come after it. So this pretty much guarantees that the head of the linked list is never going to be deleted. So a dummy node is not really going to be super helpful in this case. If we were going to delete the head node, then a dummy node would come in handy because in that case, you know, let's say we delete this node, then we'd have to take this pointer and then point it here. And the good thing about the dummy node would be that the dummy node is always going to be pointing at the head. If we have a new head or if the head ended up staying the same, the dummy node is always going to point at the head. But in this case, the head is always going to stay the same. So we don't even need that dummy node. But in terms of the actual algorithm, uh, of course, to iterate over this linked list, we're going to need some pointer, right? I'm just going to call it cur. It's going to point at whatever the current node happens to be. And of course, initially, it's going to be at the head of the linked list. And we know that the list is sorted. So of course, duplicates are going to be right next to each other. So the question now is, this is the current node. Is the next node right after it, is it a duplicate, right? Is this the same as the current node? And in this case, yes, it is. So what does that mean? Of course, we have to delete this node, right? We don't want duplicates. We have to remove this duplicate. How do we do that? Well, since this is our current, that means this is current.next, right? But we don't want current.next to you know, exist in the linked list. So what do we have to do? We have to take this pointer, uh, you know, change it to be the next node. Right? And that'll effectively delete this node from the list. The operation we would do to you know, reassign this pointer is basically say current.next, current.next, which initially was pointing at this node, right, is now going to be pointing at current.next.next. So the node that comes after it over here, right? So basically what we did is we took this node and ha now have it point at the next.next .next node, which basically deleted this node from the... Uh, linked list. And I'm actually going to change the value of this node from 2 to a 1 just to illustrate this problem a little bit better. So now our current pointer is still here, but we changed the next node to now be here. So our current.next is now at this node. 
So again, we want to check, uh, you know, our current pointer stays here. It stays at the same node because there could still be more duplicates of the node one. So now we're going to check, uh, is this still the same as our current node? Again, it's still the same. So we're going to do the exact same operation. We're going to, you know, basically delete this pointer and, you know, delete this new pointer that we just set pretty much and now have this one node point at the next node. Uh, that comes right after this one, which is a three. Now our current dot next would be at this next node, which is three. And what we would now uh, you know, determine is that this is not the same as our current node, right? Current is one, current dot next is three. So it's not a duplicate. So we don't have to delete it. So what does that mean for us? It means basically now that I've cleaned this up a little bit that our current pointer can be shifted from here to current dot next, which is now pointing here. So yeah, basically current pointer is here now. And we'd you know finish up the algorithm by saying, okay, is this equal to current.next, which is over here? Uh, well, yes, they're the same. So now uh, we're going to delete this pointer and set it to whatever comes after node 3, which of course here is null. And we check, is null the same as 3? Of course, it's not the same. So uh, you know we can take our current pointer and shift it uh, to the next pointer, which now is at null. So current is at null. That, of course, means we're done with the algorithm and we have finished. We can return the head of the linked list. So the new linked list looks like this pretty much, right? One, three, uh, not, not a second three. I don't know why I did that. Just one and three, right? That's the entire linked list. So we return it and we're done. Uh, as you can tell from the algorithm, we really only had to look at each node once, right? So we just had to iterate over the entire linked list. So the overall time complexity is big O of n. We don't really need any extra memory, so the memory complexity is big O of 1. Now, just to give you a preview, the way we're actually going to implement this algorithm is nested loops. So we're going to have an outer loop. Let's call that loop 1. And then we're going to have an inner loop. Let's call that loop 2. Now you might think, how is the time complexity O of n if we have uh, nested loops? That's one of the most common questions I get. And just because we have nested loops does not mean the time complexity is n squared. Let me show you why. Because as you saw from the explanation, our loop one is the outer loop. That's going to be what determines where our current pointer is. So each time we shift the current pointer, the outer loop is what's going to determine that. You saw that our current pointer was initially at the first node and then next uh, we shifted it to this node, right? We basically skipped some nodes in between. And the reason is because we had our current pointer here and then we shifted it here uh, because in between the nested loop, the inner loop is the one that basically deleted this node in between and then it deleted uh, this node again, right? Our inner loop is basically what takes care of the duplicates and our outer loop is what takes care of the actual unique value nodes. And our inner loop also, you know, deleted this one, which is why our current pointer just skipped from here all the way to here. So that's kind of why uh, hopefully the colors make it a little bit uh, illustrative of just because we have two loops doesn't mean with the time complexity was n squared. You know, each node was basically visited once. So without further ado, let's jump into the code. So now let's do the code. And the best part is now that we have really spent a lot of time understanding this problem, the code is actually really easy. So uh, like we said, the current pointer is initially going to be set to the head and we're going to have an outer loop. This loop is going to determine where current happens to be. And of course, we're going to continue doing this outer loop until current happens to be null. So while it's not null, we're going to continue. And remember, our inner loop is what handles actually deleting the nodes. So how do we know? if we have to delete the no the next node or not. Well, first, we're actually going to determine if a next node even exists. So we know that current is not null because of our outer loop, but our inner loop needs to make sure that the next node does exist. So if the next node does exist and if the next node's value, the value of the next node is not or is, is actually equal to the previous node's value. If the next node and the, the previous node have the same exact value, that means we have to do a delete operation here. And remember, how did we say we were gonna do that delete operation? By saying current.next is equal to current.next.next. So that effectively deletes the node and that's all we're looking to do, right? So now we're gonna, you know, this is a loop, so it's gonna go, it's gonna ask the same condition again. Current right? The current node stays the exact same, but current.next, 
uh, is going to be different now. So we're going to check, okay, is the next node still not null? And does the next node have the same value as the current node, right? So this loop is going to keep deleting nodes if it uh, if they're the same value. But once that is done, we know uh, we've deleted the nodes that we need to, but we potentially have to update our current node for the next iteration of the outer loop. So we're going to say current is equal to current.next, whatever current.next happens to be. Maybe we deleted like five nodes and current.next is going to be five nodes ahead now. And yeah, it looks pretty short and concise uh, because that's the entire code. So after we're done with that, uh, current will have reached the end of the list. So we can't just return current as the head of the list, right? That's going to be null. What we have to return is the head because that's, you know, the same head that we were given in the input. So uh, that's the whole code. Now let's run it to make sure that it works. And as you can see, yes, it does work and it is pretty efficient. So I really hope that this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. It supports the channel a lot. Consider checking out my Patreon where you can further support the channel if you would like. And hopefully I'll see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.